Hi everybody. This morning I'm actually coming to you all with obviously no makeup. I've just woke up. It's currently half past ten, which is a bit weird for me. I never wake up that late. Um, I just thought today I'd do like a video to sort of have like a catch up with you all because I haven't done a video in so long and I feel like I've been like really out of like the whole YouTube. Came out of lockdown, um, had my birthday. I think that was the last video I did. Then I did actually go on holiday when we were allowed to go on holiday. Obviously, then I had to quarantine. Um, then I've been like going out, and obviously, it's just been a bit weird. Like, everything sort of happened at once. I haven't really had time to do a video. I have actually finished college now, which is really nice. Um, and hopefully, I'm going to be getting like a permanent job in like fashion marketing or just something like that. Because my job at the minute is like a part time job just in a restaurant but obviously i don't really enjoy it it's just for the money so hopefully i'm gonna be getting an actual job and i can actually live my life as i literally need to wash my hair well i just can't even bother to wash my hair I might even just go out like this today i'm gonna try and get some pictures today because i've just been so out of it like i keep losing followers on instagram and it's winding me up it's like every time i post a picture people don't follow me and i just think okay sorry like if you don't want to follow me it's fine but it's really annoying me because i feel like because i grew my following whenever everyone's always like how did you grow your following i grew my following because obviously i did instagram and then all of a sudden i did this reel um i literally did absolutely nothing in it um i literally did a reel at like christmas i gained like forty thousand followers from this one reel and most of them were made so yeah most of the followers were men so obviously at the time it was great like i gained really really quickly and i got loads of followers and it was really nice and i did my 100k giveaway um but obviously like over time they've unfollowed me because that's what people like to do isn't it so it's just all very annoying because i'm what i don't really care what people think about me but it's really annoying like losing followers and people are pre-thinking why is she losing followers and i just know it's because all these men are pretty bored i'm not just saying it's men anyway but it probably is because it was it was a real I realized Oh, I've just picked a spot. Lovely. I just realised the main view of that video is actually my clothes. So I'm going to move over here. As I was saying, um, this is probably a really boring video for you. But it's just a catch-up video. And I can't really perform to do anything else. It's literally like 25 degrees. So as I was saying, it's like... I've been really unmotivated recently. Because it's like getting loads of pictures. Obviously for the brands I work with. Um, for them to not really get like the exposure I want and it's everything just like really annoying at the minute and I haven't really been motivated to do YouTube because I think getting subscribers on YouTube is actually so hard because people will watch a video but won't subscribe um, and then obviously Instagram I feel like I've been shadow banned since the day I started Instagram so it's just annoying but I like the fact that they've done that um, you can hide your likes because I don't really like like looking at my picture and thinking oh that hasn't really got enough likes I'm going to delete it so I like the fact that people can't see my likes anymore. I don't know if you guys feel the same. But I love, I prefer that. So I'm going to be using that. But anyway, I might actually not bother like, washing my hair. Because it actually looks okay. I usually actually have to wash it. Oh my god. I usually have to wash it like most days. Because cause obviously, well obviously I'm blonde. But I am naturally blonde. But my roots go so dark. Um, so it looks like greasy. And it's just so annoying. But yeah, I might not wash my hair. I might literally just put a little bit of makeup on. I've been preferring myself without makeup recently. Um, I think it's too hot to wear it. So like when I go out, I'll probably, I'll just, I'll probably, I'll just like fill in my eyebrows a little bit because as you can see that I, this bit never grows. It's really annoying. Fill in my eyebrows a little bit and just put mascara on and because I could not wear a full face. I mean, do your thing if you do, but it's too hot to wear makeup. Today, my friend Zoe is coming around. My mum is actually away, like she always is. She's going to see Carl. Um, they've just met halfway somewhere. So, I have got a few little bits to show you, like clothes I got sent. Um, I'm going to get a few pictures in them today. I've got quite a lot of holiday content that I've still got to post, um, which is really nice. I prefer that like, getting all my pictures all in one go. But I'm going to get a few different pictures today. I literally, I'm just, like I said, going to probably fill my eyebrows in and put mascara on because it's just too hot. I have work tomorrow in 27 degree heat. <laughs> I literally picked like little bits like I think I picked like for example this black top right, let me show you like you know one of them like not skater tops what's it called high neck oh yeah the high neck right I just literally love these sort of tops so I well, um, I got that with like just paired with some beige shorts I'm just going to sort of do little outfits like that Also I thought I might as well answer everything in this video So I did actually go to Greece I went on the 23rd I think you were officially allowed to go on the 17th 
we went me and my mum went on the 23rd um it was all a bit of a palaver because we went to an amber country and obviously there's no countries on the green list at the minute but you can go on the amber like no hate please you can actually go so we had to obviously get a covid test before we went we had to do a covid test two days two days after we were there i think i can't remember i'm not gonna lie maybe don't hold me to that i'm not sure then we had to do one two days before we came home then we had to do another one the day after we landed then we had to do so we i did a test to release so i needed five days quarantine and you can do a test to release so you don't have to quarantine anymore so i did that uh, so i did one on the fifth day and then i did another one on the eighth day so it is very very long and very very annoying but i mean so anyway as i was saying i feel like my camera's moved but i really can't bother okay can you see me hear what's going on yeah, it's a bit of a palaver, but I do feel like we've had such a sh am I allowed to say shit? We've had such a bad year, so I just sort of wanted to go away, and I just like going abroad is actually my happy place. So, and I really, really want a boyfriend to go on holiday with. But wait, right, moving on. So yeah, anyway, so I have been sent lots of little bits. What I'm gonna get pictures in today. I'm probably gonna keep my hair straight, and probably gonna go out like this. The only problem I have with my eyebrows is I get them laminated and tinted. But that hair doesn't grow here, like on my eyebrows. That's why I have to fill them in, because look. I don't really know why they look so weird, but. So I need to update you on my teeth process. So I did say I was gonna do a vlog, but obviously it's been a little bit awkward because there's nothing to a vlog. Like I've been for like, obviously a consultation. I did the whole diagnostics where they sort of like look at your teeth, take pictures of it, blah, blah, blah. blah. And I have now paid the 1,050 pound don't want to talk about it paid the 1050 pound to get my invisalign ill obviously it's a lot of money at, at the time and obviously i just hate spending money like that just cringes me out but it's a lifelong thing really and i just really like my teeth are fine i just really self-conscious about this one tooth and like obviously do you know what i mean if you're self-conscious about something then get it done and i paid that and now i only own like 700 pound which is quite nice i'm just going to pay that at the end because I think I've got to wear my Invisalign for um, 100 and something days. There's not really anything to really move. Obviously, this tooth is going to get moved. And they need to... I think they need to shave like little gaps in my teeth. So there's space for the teeth to move. But I do get my Invisalign, I think... Let's look at Mum's diary. I don't actually know when I get it. I think I get it on the 24th... I think I get it on the 24th of June. Obviously, then I have to wear it all the time. It's like a clear little, it's like a gum shield. Like it's not really a brace, obviously. I don't really know. Have to wear it all the time. Literally only take it out to eat and drink and then you have to clean your teeth every single time, which is a little bit long. But after that, and then get, getting them whitened. So it should be really nice and I'll feel a lot more confident. So yeah, I'm actually getting that done. I don't know if I updated you all, but I have like paid for that now. So when they do come, I'll show what they look like and da da da. I'm trying to think what else there is there to catch up in my life i mean i haven't really done a lot i'm not going to lie I'm like bored at every day like i'm very like i just want to go on holiday like all the time but isn't really realistic is it i'm still just trying to decide whether to wash my hair or not i literally might just put um haven't really got we haven't got dry shampoo right now like just put talcum powder and i'm not going out today you feel like if i don't say to someone do you want to do something today or less me i literally won't go out and i've got to the point where it's sort of like i really can't be asked to be like the only person always making a like effort with people so as i was saying i feel like if i don't ask people to go out i just don't go out and you know when you get to a point of like not bothering with people i'm just very like mm. and i hate feeling like i just cringe that happens to always be the one asking so if people don't ask me me now i sort of don't go out um toxic trait i know so i'm probably gonna go not gonna go out today i think england's playing today let's have a look i literally act like i care about football i literally don't i support arsenal and everyone hates me for it so right let's be there <laughs> why are we aiming down here i literally haven't got anything on I'm very like all over the place. I literally have forgotten how to vlog. Like this is pretty so boring. But I was thinking this morning, I was like, what actually what video can I do? Because I have done quite a few like in a short space of time. And now it's summer. I'm like, what can I even vlog? I did actually do a Greece vlog, but it was just so hot that I was just like, 
oh, like what can I even vlog? So I might put it together on my laptop and see what it looks like. And if it's okay, I'll just post it. I'm gonna put it all together and see what it's like. Obviously, I don't want to post like a really bad vlog for you. Um, I'm sort of still new to YouTube, but my last vlog where did I go? Dubai. It wasn't really the best because I didn't really know what I was doing, and I just had music over it and all the rest. So I might put it together, but I want to sort of make my videos like a little bit better and like better quality. Um, because I feel like I'm just, I, in the beginning I just rushed like a load of videos and I sort of want to make them like a little bit better for you and like do videos that you actually want to see instead of me just sitting here talking all the time. I also prefer like being tanned as well because when I'm doing like no makeup videos like now I feel like so much more confident and um, because obviously when I'm not tanned I'm wearing no makeup I just feel a bit, I mean I don't really look very tanned right now in the camera but I haven't been squeezing my skin like so it's quite clear and I just feel very 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 nice so I'm going to be talking oh my god someone's ringing me does anyone else's phone not like ring because that's what mine does mm, fair enough ring me and then end it it's all good every time I'm recording my camera will be like hello Pebbles is here to say hi. Mm. I know. A catch up vlog. Well, catch up video. Uh, no. Give it up on YouTube. Where did that rumor come from? So, I don't know if anyone else is the same, but I always get like an impulse. Like, I'm laying in bed at night and I'm just like, oh my god, I want to delete all my social media and just disappear. Like, I literally always look at my pictures for about an hour like this. I'm like, ugh, they're ugly. Ugh. I'm literally such like a. I don't even know, like, I'm a confident per- I don't actually say I'm a confident person, but- And I don't actually- I always say I don't hear what people think, but- But- I do always think, oh god, like, imagine people go on my Instagram and they're like, ill. So yeah, I'm always having, like, an impulse decision where I'm like, let's delete that picture, I'll archive it, and then I'll put it up a day later. And it's the same with my YouTube videos, like, I literally can't even watch my YouTube videos. Like, before I post a YouTube video, mum has to watch it all. And I'm like, oh my god, like, if I say anything, like, cringe, like, let me take it out, like, I'm just a bit like, oh, like, I just cringe at myself, but, like, I don't know, like, I love doing it, but I sort of, like, I just can't watch my videos back, like, if someone's, like, I'm watching your YouTube video, I literally, like, I'm sick in my mouth, like, I just cringe, think, oh my god, I can't watch that back, like, so I always do think, oh, like, I want to delete that video and start again, but at the end of the day, I've literally just turned 18, so I'm just going to leave all my old videos, like, on there. And I think they're okay, I just, I just look very, I don't know, I just always feel like I look horrible, but today I'm feeling confident. But my skin looks good. So, obviously I did have my hair done, I don't even know if I updated you guys. No, I must have, my birthday vlog. I've got this Beauty Works brush, because otherwise, I have nanos, otherwise if I don't brush them, my hair is going to go matted. So, my hair's okay, I mean I am getting a bit annoyed with my long old big hair in the summer it's really hot it's 27 degrees tomorrow and i am working with no air con let me let me just say we don't have air con wednesday my tanning day 26 degrees so it's all good i don't actually get sunburns i've never had a sunburn in my life fun fact so when i get the chance to tan in my garden that's all I, all i will be doing so yes uh, but anyway yeah i hate having nanos like in this weather it's so hot but at the same time i feel like now i feel like naked without my extensions so i just love wearing them well these obviously are i've had them, these in now for like since april the 12th um so yeah there is nothing to update you all on the boyfriend front um i do think i'll be single forever what's that thing on tiktok <laughs> at first i was like <laughs> uh, that one yeah that's me i'm gonna be single forever I literally, right, will start liking someone and think, this is it, like, I really like this person. No names are allowed. I really like this person. And then it's like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God, why do I think so? It's like, oh, for God's sake, like, I just I just want someone, like, mature and, like, that only wants one person. Like, I feel like it's really, really hard in this day and age to find someone, day and age. Who am I? I literally I'm talking like I'm 25, I'm literally 18. But I feel like I'm quite mature for my age. And I just want someone who's all about one person. I feel like that's so hard. Like, you'll meet someone and they're, they're like speaking to a thousand other girls. And it's like, 
Oh my god. Yeah, no, I need to find someone that I could just love. But no, I just want to find someone to like do like things we've gone holiday with, do fun things with, just I just love all that. But yeah, anyway, let's let's move off that topic. It's a sensitive topic. Um, so there's nothing to update you all on the boyfriend front. Um when I do get a boyfriend, which will probably be never, um I'll be sure to let you know. But like this song was so overrated on TikTok, weren't it? I thought it was going to be amazing. Don't get me wrong, I do really like it. I feel like I have to say it every single time, like, no hate. I do actually like the song, this is completely irrelevant to the video. But I feel like everyone overrated it on TikTok so much, including me, that it came out and I was like... The thing is with me as well, is I'm always complaining that I'm single. But, I'm like... <laughs> I just find it so awkward to speak to people, like, I would much rather meet someone out than make the effort to speak to me, because I'm a little bit awkward, like, I'm really confident and I, I do like meeting new people, but sometimes if I feel like there's nothing for me to say in the conversation or loads of people are speaking about a topic that I don't really know, I do find myself just sitting there like on my phone like that because I just feel a little bit awkward like I hate it when you're out and people don't make an effort to speak to you because it's just such an awkward feeling like being out and like everyone's speaking about a topic that you actually have no idea what they're talking about and you're just sitting there like that you really feel like you're not even there don't oh that was me last night I feel like how I'm gonna meet a boy is gonna meet them out and we just have a chat and then we'll go out the next day for dinner and you know what, at this rate I'll pay because I don't I don't, obviously, like, on a date, boys are like, obviously, I'll pay. I don't really, I don't mind, like, splitting the bill. Like, it's all good in the hood. Like, I'll pay. No, I don't know. I feel like there's a big stigma of this. Like, boys have to pay. And I feel like if they're asking to take you out, then you assume they're paying. But this is completely irrelevant. You know what? Coming off the topic right now, I'm having to aim the camera at the wall. Because this, like, if, when I was sitting here at the beginning of the, in, beginning of the video... That's just so annoying. Like, all, all the, this is like all my collab clothes in the office. There's like millions, but oh, this is such like, I'm such a weirdo, like that is cringe. No, not cringe, but that is really annoying. Like, all the colors, like, I much prefer like a white background. So sorry about the beginning of the video. It's absolutely awful. Um, but yeah. To make you seem cooler. Maybe it just sounds funnier and cooler. I'm now going to go and sunbathe in the garden. I literally completely contradicted what I've what I have said and I'm gonna have to wash my hair if I put lotion on because it needs a well it sort of needs to wash anyway and I won't be washing it. Oh my god I forgot to update you guys on my driving quick update on the driving so I passed my theory test which I'm super super excited about I don't know why I'm speaking American which I'm so excited about um I literally did my five day driving course I do recommend it but I mean if you've never got in a car before and don't have to drive a car then Definitely have a few lessons before because I had no idea what I was doing. So I basically did the driving course. It was a five day thing, uh, nine to five. So Monday went in there, started learning the theory. Had my theory test on the Thursday. I'd never, mum kept saying to me, revise, 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 get the app, get the app. Didn't listen to diet, mum knows best. Um, and I passed my theory. I literally passed it. And one of the questions, I didn't even click anything for the hazard perception because I didn't think there was a hazard. But I passed it. I was like, what did I get? I think out of 50, I got like 45-ish? No. Maybe the, I don't know what the pass mark. I think the pass mark's 43. I'm not really sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? I passed it. Um, I did, obviously got to the end of the five day course, wasn't really ready for my test. So I'm doing a lesson every Tuesday for two hours, sort of getting back up my confidence because I was sort of not my confidence a little bit. Like my instructor was a bit, so, um, I got a new instructor. He's really, really good, and he's really calm and nice with me, which is really good. Um, See, so yeah, I'm having a lesson every week, every two hours. So the backlog for tests is absolutely crazy. Um, so I'm hoping to book my test through the five-day link, which is like 75% quicker. So I'm hoping to book it in like five weeks' time. Um, book it, and then yes. So I just thought I'd update you all on that. When I pass my theory. Like, you know when you just feel like you've failed it? And I got out and I was, like, nearly nearly in tears. And I literally passed it. And I was, like... 
I was so happy. Like I, br I rang everyone and I was like, how are you? Like, da, 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 da. And then they was like, you okay? Like, they all thought I did. My mum was like, she definitely didn't pass. Mum didn't think I'd pass because I literally started revising it on the Monday. Had the thing on, on the Thursday. And when I passed it, it was literally like, it was literally the best thing in the world. So yeah. Before I go, I do actually want to update you. So I don't know. No, I did. In my birthday vlog, I said I bet my neck. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little scar there. And then a few days later, I actually burnt my arm with the curlers. As you can see, so that's great. Two scars. This one actually looked like a love bite at first. And this one just looks absolutely horrible. So I hope that goes. Thought I'd update you on that as well. This is literally basically updating you on my whole life. So I think that is the end of my video. Obviously, it wasn't a... Uh, very planned or anything like that i did just want to do a little catch-up video so you guys didn't think i was abandoning abandoning you and you did actually know where i was because i was thinking oh like, what video can i do like i do want to get back into youtube didn't really have the time though, at, at the time because i was working college instagram like, everything just gets a bit much sometimes so i am back i'm going to be trying to do videos weekly if not every two weeks because it like depending if i can think of ideas so if you have any ideas comment down below obviously make sure you do like comment and subscribe and if you have any specific ideas dm me on instagram i always think of my dms all the time um so yeah i hope you did enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one